All right, we're going to pick up here with number 11 on page 124. Um, and this problem, you're told that the sine of A, so I'm actually, I'm in degrees, um, and that's important because you're asked for the cosine of 90 minus A, um, which actually I know is going to be the sine of A by the co-function identity, but let's say you didn't know that. So you're told the sine of A um, is equal to 0.8. So what I could do is I could say A is equal to, uh, whoa, what are you doing? it equal to um, the inverse sine of 0.8 and then I can do the cosine of 90 minus a which is what the problem says to do um, and it gives me 0.8 again so the answer is e and again I already knew that but I'm just trying to show you how to use your calculator to kind of maximize its abilities um, so new uh, problem so that's doc and then four and then one so we're gonna do that between every problem that we do um, and I am going to do number 13 on page 124. All right, so we're just going through and picking out the ones that are specifically calculator. Um, and then the other ones I've already done in other videos, so you can check those out if you wanted to. Um, this one's asking for the vertical asymptotes of a function. So the function is uh, 5 over x squared minus... 8x plus 16. Um, I'm looking for the vertical asymptotes. So that's where the denominator is 0. So what I'm going to do is solve. Um, and I just want the denominator here. So I'm going to hold down shift and arrow to the left, or it might be faster just to type it, um, equals 0, comma x. Uh, so I get 4 only. So uh, that's going to be b. And that's the answer to that one. All right. So it's going to be doc 4, 1 for a new problem. And then I am going to do number, uh, I'm going to do number 15 on page 125. All right, so in this one, we're told cosine of x is something, and we want to find secant. Well, I know that secant is 1 over cosine, but let's, so let's do that first. So the answer here is going to be 1 over um, 0.4697. You really had no choice about how to do that one. So that's 2.129. Uh, so that's option A. Uh, let's say you didn't know that. You could have said that uh, X, and again, I don't like to store things in X. Uh, if you don't know how to store it, it's control and then the template. It's just a little faster for me to type it. Um, I could say that it's the inverse cosine of 0.4697. And then the problem is asking me to do the secant of X, which again, gives me the exact same answer. So I already knew how to do it, but again, trying to show you how to use your calculator. Uh, the next calculator looking question is number 18. Uh, number 18 is actually not really a calculator question, uh, but I'm going to do it with a calculator because because uh, I can mostly. So this is number 18 on page 126. Okay, so in this case, you're given an infinite geometric series and you're asked to find the sum. So I actually know how to do that. Uh, it's going to be the first term, which is 1 fourth over 1 minus the ratio. To find the ratio, you just divide consecutive terms. So 1 eighth divided by 1 fourth in this case, which is uh, 1 half. Um, so I get the answer of 1 half. Uh, but let's say you don't know how to do that, but you do uh, know how to use a template. Ooh, that's annoying. My templates aren't working. Um, OK, so hold on. I can find it here. Uh, so say I want to use this template. Uh, so I'm going to go where uh, n goes from 1. It's an infinite geometric series. So it's going to go to infinity using the pi key a couple of times. And then I'm going to have, uh, it looks like I have 1 fourth times 1 half to the n minus 1 um, is how you actually get this series. So if I press enter here, it also gives me one half. Um, so depending on how you look at this problem and uh, see it, you could do it either way. Um, I've actually just kind of written out what the series is um, by writing it as a summation. It's not given as a summation, but you can certainly do that. Uh, let's take a look at another problem. So I'm going to jump to number 22. So doc for one calculator. I'm going to label it up. You definitely would not do this. It's going to be number 22 on page 127. Okay, so it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle, and I want the smallest angle. So there's a lot of options for that. Um, I'm going to do the um, inverse sine 
of 3 over 5 and get about 37 degrees. You might actually just know the answer to this. I could have done the inverse tangent of, um, so opposite the smallest angle is 3 and then adjacent would be 4. I get that. Either way, I'm getting the same answers. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up here before the video gets too long, but I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.